same answer the creator the creator this creator who has mentioned in the quran we call as allah so that means you believe in the creator who could have mentioned this in the quran the creator the creator who created the human beings the person who created all this universe Baby, you can call me a superman. Cho 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 cha cha gani cha superman. Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. It's your boy Jesse Kigen. And your girl Fanny Lungo. And we are Fanny and Jesse. So right about now, we're gonna do another reaction. But before we get into the reaction, guys, as you can see, yeah, like we're in a uh, African attires. Yeah, I mean, is it not amazing? Just give us a thumbs up if you feel like this is amazing right here. Anyway, That's guys. Amazing. The African art I like. <laughs> really you mentioned I mean. the fact that you copied me. I didn't copy anybody. Yes, you did. <laughs> anyway. you did. So right about now we're gonna do another reaction. But before we get into the reaction, guys, we wanna thank everybody out there who's been subscribing to our channel. You're the realest MVP. We also wanna thank the people who've been giving us reactions. We have a, we have like tons of reactions. We don't know where to start from, but we have a plan for you guys. Anyway, <clears throat> uh, if you're new to this channel, we are Fanny and Jesse. Uh, my name is Jesse Kagan and my lovely girlfriend here is Fanny Lungu and we do reaction videos We do immense like a lot of reaction videos. Just let us know any type of reaction videos We're gonna do it for you guys and yeah, just feel free go down in the comment section. Just let us know exactly what you want to um, Hear from us and also another important thing guys. We have a new channel which is called Fanny and Jesse 2.0 the link is also on the description below just go and hit that uh, that that link and hit the subscription button and subscribe to our channel and you'll see what we do actually on a daily basis something like that anyway so right about now we're going to do another reaction this one right here was suggested by stan <laughs> tan star <laughs> tan star tan stars. yeah it was suggested by tan stars and he he or she said like you know what we we should react to an atheist confronts dr zakir naik but one. So without any further ado, guys, this is Kier. <laughs> Are you Hindu? I'm actually your favorite. I'm an atheist. Atheist, my God. How do you enjoy it? You're atheist. You're my favorite. No, I'm not your friend, but I was told that you like having debates with such. Yes, yes, fame, atheist. Okay, brother, you're an atheist. Fine. I would like to congratulate you. You'd like to what? I would like to congratulate you. You know why? Why? The reason I congratulate you because all the others, all the human beings, they are blindly following. Father is a Christian, so son is a Christian. His parents are Hindu, he is a Hindu. Many of the Muslim parents are Muslims. You are thinking. I don't know their father was atheist. Father was atheist? No. Ah, good. So you are thinking. These are the people, they worship this almighty God who falls down and breaks. So you are thinking. And the reason I congratulate you is because you have said, the first part of the Islamic Shahada, La ilaha, there is no God. You okay. have already said half the kalma. But not the second part. They have said the full kalma, you are half Muslim now. It just <laughs> means half kalma, you know, La ilaha. Only thing you have to do is in Allah, but Allah which I shall do, inshallah. <laughs> I am congratulating you because you have agreed to the other people who believe in wrong gods. First, I have to spend half my time in trying to convince them the God you are worshipping is wrong. You have already agreed there is no God. Only thing I have to do is prove to you about Allah, which I shall do, inshallah. Brother, suppose there is equipment which is bought. Equipment is bought in front of you. No one in the world has ever seen. No human being has seen is bought in front of you. And if I ask you the question, who is the first person who will be able to tell you the mechanism of that equipment? I've heard this speech and it's the creator. It's the creator. So the creator of that equipment will be the first person who will be able to tell you the mechanism of that object. You may say creator, you may say manufacturer, you may say inventor, you may say maker, whatever it is somewhat similar. Now I'm asking you a question. How did this universe come into existence? How did this universe come into existence? You are going to now mention the Big Bang and all No, I'm that. asking you. Yeah. Don't tell me what I'm going to mention. Well, I want to know what, if, what is the... If you want no, to... you are... I'm asking you according to your knowledge. No, the thing is, I've actually heard this speech before. I'm Fine. actually a good fan of yours, you know that. Mashallah, you're a good fan. <laughs> good fan, theoretical or practical? If yeah, you're a practical fan, practical. you will follow. If I'm wrong, you correct me. 
if I'm right to join me. No, I only learnt about you about two weeks back actually. Fine, so in two weeks you became a great fan. Mashallah, I'm very happy about it. In two weeks you learn about me, that means you know. You know about the creation, the Big Bang, yes, which yes, we came yes, to know yes, recently. Know that, yes. Quran mentioned 14 years ago in Surah Ambiya chapter 21 verse number 30. Well, I don't know the verses, but... Fine, but you know that. <laughs> yeah. Similarly, we did not know that the earth was spherical. We came to recently. Quran mentioned 14 years ago in Surah Nadia chapter 7 yes, and verse number 30, it is spherical. We thought first the light of the moon is its own light. Quran mentioned 14 years ago, the light of the moon is not its own light, reflected light which we came to know recently. Who could have mentioned this? There is biology, there is water cycle which you learned in school. There is embryology, there is genetics. My question is, who could have mentioned all these things in the Quran? So if you have heard this, you also know the answer. Who could have mentioned in the Quran? Same answer. The Creator. The Creator. This Creator who has mentioned in the Quran, we call as Allah. So that means you believe in the Creator. Who could have mentioned this in the Quran? The Creator. The Creator who created the human beings, the person who created all this universe. It can't be a human being who writes all this. So now do you believe in a Creator? Well, there are different perspectives, you see, a person the has, you can we'll think discuss about later on. science or you can think about God. Now the debate is which to follow. No, we okay. can follow both, I but believe in as both. I, as I, I am said, a, I'm a student of science also, also I'm a believer in God, both. As, as my opening question stated, what I asked about terrorism, I believe you also know, those are certain facts that... Brother, we'll come to terrorism later on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, wait, brother, we are talking brother, about brother, that, brother, why brother, I don't brother, believe. Brother, brother, wait, brother, wait. You asked me direct question, suicide bombing, killing innocent wrong, I gave direct answer. Now I am asking you a direct question, you give me a direct answer. You asked me, you are happy with my answer. No beating around the bush. I am asking you directly, when you believe in the Creator, why don't you accept the Creator? I am asking you directly. You asked me a direct question in front of 30,000 people, I gave a direct answer. I am asking you a direct question. You didn't believe in God, I congratulate you. Now I prove to you that the Creator wrote the Quran. Now I am asking the question, why don't you believe in the Creator? I didn't say that I believe in the Creator. No, I you was said just the Creator. mimicking your speech. Oh, I which didn't I watch. Brother, I didn't ask you to come here to mimic me, please. Did I ask you to come and mimic me? I asked you who wrote. You said Creator. I didn't say. Did I say that? No, but that's even what, in my speech, I don't what, say. That's what you said. Even I didn't say. Speech. The questioner said. That means you haven't seen my speech correctly. Like how you are telling when I ask and yes, yes, he gives the reply, Creator, not I, not I. That means I haven't seen my speech correctly. It is a person like you, who I might have asked the question to, he gave the reply. Like how you gave the reply now. Did I ask you to mimic or did I ask you to give answer from your heart? So that means you are not a very truthful person. Nah? You asked me a question, brother. I gave answer directly. From my heart. Correct? Yeah. I am asking you a question, you gave the answer, now you are saying that I am mimicking. Okay, if I say the Creator is what you want to hear, now, no, what if, I do no, here. no, 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 listen, hypothetically here, no, hypothetically. If, if we say that I agree to the Creator, now, what if I say that I agree to the Creator of what was written, but I don't believe what was written justifies everything, you're giving me six facts, correct, 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 me, correct. very good, very good, you're wait, telling wait, wait, me wait. six things, but there's a lot in life that's not written there, fine, fine, there's Come, nothing wait, about wait, 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 wait. gravity wait. or, you're just telling me about light on the correct. moon, very the good, very good, very good, the brother says, he believes in the Creator, but everything is not there. Brother, this book, the Quran, is not a book of science. S-C-I-E-N-C-E. -E. It's a book of signs. S-I-G-N-S. -S. It's a book of ayats. There are more than 6,000 signs, 6,000 ayats in the Quran, out of which more than a thousand speak about signs. It's not a book of signs. 2 plus 2 is equal to 4, that's not written there. But the beauty of it is, what is written, we did not know. You mean me didn't, that means the creator wrote. If it had everything of science, it would be a voluminous book as big as the World Trade Center. Or maybe it's Buruj Dubai, tallest building now. It is not a book of science, brother. Please don't misunderstand. It is to prove to the scientist that this is the word of God. This is the word of creator. What do you have to tell me to disprove it? You have to take out a mistake in the Quran. Quran says in Surah Nisa chapter 4 verse number 82, do they not consider the Quran with K? Had it been from anyone besides Allah, there would have been contradictions in it. There would have been mistakes in it. So for you to disprove the Quran to be the word of Allah, we have to take out mistakes. 
That is the reason I said, please come up and take out mistakes in the Quran. Why? If it's wrong, I will leave it. If it's right, you join me. It's a two way, not one way. But uh, how old is the Quran? I don't exactly know. How the Quran is, is approximately 1400 years old. Okay, and how long have human beings existed in this planet? Human beings in millions of years. Millions of years. Uh, I'm not challenging you. Don't don't get this wrong. I've just no. I'm, I like I people challenging you. me. What is I the like reason? people challenging yeah. me. Yeah. Okay. If you want to challenge, then I'll I'll take that step. Then. Okay. What is the reason that uh, first of all is uh, I believe Christianity is older than uh, Islam. It's, no. Uh, no, you're wrong. Is, uh, you're wrong. Is, uh, Christianity is not older than how, Islam. How, what's the difference? Islam is there since time immemorial. Since man set foot on the earth. Okay. From the first human it's already there. Prophet Muhammad is the last and final messenger. He came 1400 years ago. He was the last messenger. Quran is the last revelation, not the first revelation. This is the last testament. Hmm. Otherwise, Islam is this in time memorial. Isa alayhi salam, Jesus Christ was a Muslim according to the Quran. Abraham was a Muslim according to the Quran. Peace be upon them all. So Islam means peace acquired by submitting our will to Almighty God. It is this in time memorial. <coughs> wow. <coughs> What do you think? <clears throat> it's interesting. I yeah. really like the fact that um, he respects people that come to question him. Yes. He has much respect. I mean, for somebody to uh, be there to answer questions individually. I mean, yeah. that's a and big... It doesn't matter whether you're atheist or what. Yeah, well. And I like the fact that he's applauding an atheist. Yeah, he's congratulating saying, <laughs> Because he's saying that what? They're not following blindly. That's something. Yeah. And again, that was shocking, right? Um, what? He was saying that uh, he's an atheist and then he's congratulating him. And then according to Islam, there's something he mentioned. And then he said that um, you have to, to, to be what? Uh, to be in... in not really an atheist, but not knowing God, but in that process you know God. You get it? I mean, anyway, but I, I like such a nice debate, but I feel like uh, Dr. Naik wasn't giving the guy a chance to explain himself. I think there was a point the guy was trying to drive in, but it was kind of uh, back and forth. But anyway, I mean, it's a good... Um, and maybe he got into the point, this is just a short clip, I mean, can... Yeah. If we can find the second clip, that would be nice. Maybe we will we'll understand more. And it looks like the conversation already started. Yeah, it looks like it started anyway. So this is just part of yeah, the probably, conversation. Yeah, probably yeah, another conversation. Mm -hmm. Which is amazing. I mean, amazing. Nice to... Uh, like, the, the part where he was saying congratulations. Um, how old is the Bible? How old is the Bible? Uh, I don't know, man. Like, to be... I've actually... <clears throat> they say, okay, I've, uh, I've been reading other books and they say the Bible is, um, what do you call it, it's, um, it's older than the Quran. I don't know, I don't know how proof, uh, like how true that is, other they say that the Quran, like the way uh, Dr. Naik said, like Quran existed since man put his foot on earth. So I don't know which one is true, which one is wrong. We don't have the answers anyway. No, but remember there's a certain class I was taking and I came back to you and mm -hmm. I said we actually learned that this was the first religion, came Christianity, then this, then this. So which one was the first religion? No, Christianity came before this. Yeah. So uh, I don't know, there's a lot of theories out there, but I mean so no one what's the truth though? No one is gonna accept that. Christianity was the first. No, it wasn't the first one. You get it. Nobody's gonna but it came accept. Before, to what the guy was going to a point where he was saying, uh, if if the Bible is fourteen, uh, sorry, if the Quran is fourteen hundred years. Fourteen or forty nine? No, is it fourteen thousand years ago? Something. Forty nine hundred. Yeah, or something like that. Yeah, and then uh, people existed like millions of years ago, years ago. So between that time and when the Quran was was like uh, established or maybe uh, published out there to the people what were we what was what was the teaching during that time what how were we following was the teaching? yeah how was the teaching and at what level Word or more. yeah i don't know 
you know really? how you know i'm just i'm trying to think because you yeah. know even if we look at the way things were back then in let's say africa mm-hmm. they'll say everything was done by way of mouth drums this signal that whatever the case is but guys uh, don't you think it's kind of even hard to comprehend the fact that a million years ago what were those people what were they let's say our ancestors what were they uh believing in not not so not believing of course to believe in god but what were the guidance like today we have the bible the quran maybe these other books so what books. yeah so many books which were the books that were guiding them during that time because of course there was no islam but according to dr zaik naik he was saying that islam began when man stepped uh uh, uh his foot on the on the ground where is this earth so i don't know i mean there's so much confusion out there i mean there. he could be right hasn't he studied all the religions yeah he could be right but again but he could be wrong saying, yeah that's what i'm saying i wanted us to say <laughs> so who's saying the truth what's the truth what are we supposed to believe that's what i'm saying nobody has the answers we just have to follow the teachings although what i would have liked but don't follow blindly is, um instead of answering he should have answered the way he wanted to answer. Yeah. It's like he was expecting Dr. Zaif to say, okay, fine, this is the creator. That, that, mm-hmm. the creator did this, this. He could have just, we could have learned more if he just answered as himself. Maybe this part two, because this is part one, yeah? Is there part two? There should be part two. Yeah, just, uh, guys, if you know that, uh, if you can just get us part two of this clip over here, we'll be really, really happy. But anyway, this is okay. nice. Shout out to um, Tanstars for wanting us to see a different view. Yeah, Tanstars. This is from an atheist. Yeah, perspective. Yeah. Anyway, guys, um, this is such a nice video right here. Um, thank you. So, if you feel like you react to this video, the better way is to give us a thumbs up. And don't forget to go down our comment section. Tell us exactly what you feel about our reaction and what you feel about uh, an atheist confirmed Dr. Zaid Naik Part One. And if you have any any of Part Two, just let us know in the comment section. We're gonna do it for you. And if you have any kind of reaction, guys, just let us know. Any kind of reaction, music reaction, uh, funny reaction, we're gonna do it for you. And yeah, and the most important thing is don't forget to subscribe to our channel. They might keep on subscribing, they might give us the motivation to do a lot of videos and to give you a better, better content. Last but not the least, we're gonna see you in the next video. And peace out.